Hello knowledge seekers, this is Showman from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. So far in the RTR non-metallic pipeline series, we have seen the installation, thread makeup, RTR road crossing installations. So now the pipeline is ready. We need to check the final integrity through hydrostatic test. This is our subject today. Let us start. A hydrostatic test is a way in which pipelines can be tested for leaks. Before starting the hydrostatic test, we need to prepare a hydro test package which includes all the construction records, the quality requirements, all types of procedure and some safety requirements and it has to be approved before we commence an hydro test. So let us see the minimum content of a hydro test package comprehensive hydro test package shall be submitted for review and approval prior to commencing hydro test activities. No test shall be conducted until the notification and approval to proceed has been received. The hydrostatic test package shall include but shall not be limited to the following. Approved hydrostatic test procedure which is general for all the lines. Pressure test diagram which shall include the limits of piping, included test manifold and equipment included in each pressure test, high points and low points drain, location of pressure gauges, test pressure, test temperature, test fluid, line flushing requirement and safety precautions, pressure safety relief valve data sheet and calibration record. Pressure gauges and recorders, temperature gauges and recorders, calibration records, hydrostatic test manifold test report with PID acceptance for the project, safety instruction sheet and pressure test report form, checklist for gasket verification and flange joint bolt assembly, pipeline RTR joint log with installer identification, test package flow chart, all steps to be signed by all parties including contractor QC, representative, client project management representative, PMT, project inspection representative and if required from the proponent who is the owner of the plant or the pipeline. Pre-hydrostatic test checklist and punch list, all A item must be closed prior to the test, flange set completion document for permanent installations only, test manifold pressure test report, checklist for review, the test package preparation, water analysis report, hydrostatic test diagram showing the pressure test table, calibration certificates for relief valve pressure gauges, test manifold, temperature and pressure recorder as mentioned before also and all other applicable checklist which is not mentioned here. Some preparation at site. It is recommended as per client standard, new installer need to be qualified to a length of 500 meter to assess the quality of work prior to proceed with the bonding activity of a long line. However, the length of the test section can vary depending on the site requirements and as agreed and accepted by the end user. For maximum length of test section, client applicable standard will be followed. Partial backfill to be done in a buried installation. Partial backfill should be at least 750 mm above pipe crown to ensure a proper support. All joints shall be left exposed for inspection during the 4 hour test. If the full line is backfilled, the test duration shall be 24 hours. Temporary supports that is sandbags or total backfill should be provided closer to the fittings at the change of direction during the test means where the pipe is taking a bend horizontal or vertical care must be taken more. Now let us discuss some some important points to ponder before hydro test. Hydro test package need to be submitted and approved I mentioned before. Static head calculation considering different elevation of the pipeline. The pressure levels to be displayed on the pressure gauge shall be adjusted to account for the static head such that the pressure at the lowest point in the RTR pipeline system shall not exceed the required test pressure. Here the recommendation is limit the pipeline length for the first hydro test from 300 to 500 meter only for better quality of work and see the performances. In case the line does not include flanges, it will be necessary to connect temporary flanges for testing purposes. Any additional flanges for pressure testing shall be removed afterwards and replaced by pipe. For underground installation, the sectional pipe to be tested shall be partially backfilled 
at least up to 750 millimeter above the pipe crown to ensure a proper support. A straight pipe fill joints and pipe to fitting joints shall be left exposed for installation during the test. Temporary support that is sandbags or total backfill shall be provided closer to the fittings at the change of direction during the test. If thrust blocks are installed based on the recommendation from systematic design, these shall now be in place and fully cured before starting the hydro test. Here we are talking about full thrust anchor or FTA. Remove the connecting instrument if any such as valve, bellow, stainer, flow meters etc. Clean the face of RTF flanges, blind flanges, gaskets, bolts, knots and washer before assembly. All gaskets, knots, washers and bolts used for hydro test shall be replaced after final test acceptance. Apply torque using calibrated torque range and bolt sequence as per relevant method statement for flange tightening. Calibrated pressure gauge and pressurizing pump are connected to the line at the blind flanges. The pressure gauge shall be installed at the highest point of the piping system being tested. The calibration interval of pressure gauge shall not exceed one month. For the pressure relief valve it is two weeks. Pressure gauges shall have a range such that the test pressure is within 30 to 80 percent of the full range. Pressure relief valve spring range shall be near to its set pressure, which is 5% higher than the hydro test pressure. A minimum of two pressure gauges are required for the test system. One pressure gauge shall be on the test manifold and others on the test system. The accuracy shall be within 5% of one another. Testing shall be hydrostatic using portable water as the testing medium. Piping section to be hydro tested shall be filled from the lowest point. Vents or other high point connections shall be opened to expel air from the line. All valves in the test system shall be at fully open position. Internal cleaning. Cleanliness prior to testing shall be verified by runs of swap pigs propelled by water or air. Water flushing acceptance criteria will be as agreed with the proponent. Water quality test. The test water shall be clean. Water that contains any percentage of sediment and acid may injure the pipe, valves and equipment and shall not be used unless it is filtered and inhibited. Vent shall be closed only when clear water with no air bubble comes through the vent. All air or gas shall be removed from the piping system by venting before hydrostatic test pressure is applied. After water filling is done, all vents shall be closed. The specification of water filling pump shall be such that the test pressure inside the RTA system shall not reach beyond 10% of the design pressure. These can be done by means of employing a low pressure pump. A calibrated pressure or temperature recorder shall be connected. The chart will be signed at the start and finish of the test by the inspection representative both from the contractor and the client. Pressure and temperature recorder shall be used when all RTR joints are backfilled and test conducted for 24 hours. Probe for temperature sensing shall be installed underground portion of the line to avoid the influence of ambient temperature on the temperature reading. In addition to the pressure relieving device, a bleed valve shall be provided to protect the piping and equipment from overpressure. The bleed valve shall be readily accessible in case of immediate depressurization is required. An isolation valve shall be provided between the pressure testing manifold and the system being tested. The isolation valve shall be rated for the manifold test pressure when it is closed position. Before employing the pressure testing manifold in the actual system pressure test, it shall be separately pressure tested at least 1.2 times the system test pressure but not less than discharge pressure of the pump used for the pressure testing. Since the non-metallic high pressure technology is comparatively new as compared to the metallic pipeline system, so we have some special requirement which shall be followed. When the first 500 meter is installed, it shall be hydro tested prior to continuing installation of the system. Construction of the rest of the line may proceed following the successful initial hydro test on the first installed 1.5 kilometer. 
when the complete line has been installed in the trench it shall be prepared for full system hydro test now let us have an idea of the test pressure for the exposed joints pipeline the test pressure can be 1.25 times the maop 4 hours minimum 5 hours maximum for the fully buried line the test pressure can be 1.1 into maop and the duration is 24 hour for example here i need to inform you that this is an example from our project or from some manufacturer specifically to give you an idea don't take these figures as absolute one it depends on project to project and client to client requirement any test pressure deviations or changes you need to take the approval from the consulting service department for your client now pressure stabilization is of ultimate importance of non metallic pipeline because when we put uh, pressures on the line pipe due to presence of air bubble and also the expansion of the non metallic pipe body test pressure gets reduced if you hold it for few hours so sometimes 12 to 14 hours pressure stabilization at 50% of the hydro test pressure is recommended which makes it easy to control the deviations at hydro test pressure the test shall not be conducted below freezing temperature pressure testing pump shall be started vent reopened to expel remaining air in the pipeline venting shall be carried out repeatedly at points in the test section air might accumulate the rate of pressurization or depressurization at all stages shall not exceed 5 bar per minute the specification of high pressure hydraulic pump liters per minute shall be adjusted to match the above maximum allowable flow rate suitable control valves can also be employed to limit the pump's discharge rate the pressure shall be raised up to the hydro test pressure in the following steps at each step given the entire pipeline shall be inspected for any leakage and the holding time may be increased accordingly if required to ensure integrity of the pipeline here is a table for pressurization steps for the pipeline initial pressurization is 100 psi we have to hold for 5 minutes and check for any leakage or integrity then it will be increased to 250 then 550 each step we need to hold minimum 5 minutes for stabilization then the pressure will be 750 1000 1250 and 1562 it is the final hydro test pressure when we reach this is an example don't go for the figure but you can see the step by step pressurization accommodate and stabilize the pressure by the pipeline and its component now we are at the line pressurization and depressurization step strength test pressure shall be maintained at minimum 4 hours and no longer than 5 hours when the joints are all exposed this time is required to permit inspection of all the joints the pressure in the line shall remain constant during the duration of the test except the documented correction due to the changes in ambient temperature minor or gradual pressure changes during the test can be a result of residual air in the segment or temperature effects the volume and pressure of any added or subtracted test medium shall be documented on the test log as well as the temperature and pressure at that time and be accounted for in the assessment of the result of the pressure test if no pressure drop is recorded hydro test of the section will be accepted upon successful acceptance of the test the pressure shall be reduced gradually where pressure variations occur due to test water temperature changes such as in cross country pipelines thermocouple shall be installed to obtain pipe temperature measurements to determine the acceptance of the pressure test consulting service department shall be consulted for any deviations on the 24 hours hydrostatic test if a joint or pipe found to be leaking the following shall be done for minor leaks continue building the pressure up to the required testing pressure to make sure that all other joints in this section are accepted then depressurize the line 
to repair the leaking joint by cutting the joint out and replace it by means of an approved repair method. We will discuss in detail in a separate video for the repair. If repair is completed, test the section again to make sure that all the joints are accepted. Minor leak. When the leak is minor, then depressurize the line immediately to avoid the line movement in case of complete joint failure. After repairing the leaking joint, test the section again to make sure that all the joints are accepted. After releasing the pressure, the water will be drained. The vent valve will be kept open till completion of the draining. All water from the hydro test shall be released on the approved and designated draining area by the end user. If any temporary flanges uh, were connected for testing purposes, remove the temporary flanges after completion of draining the system. Continue with the normal pipe installation. Valve which have been removed shall be reinstalled with proper gaskets. Piping shall be closed to prevent entry of foreign materials. Here is a, a setup schematic drawing for the RTR pipeline hydro test. There is water tank from water tank through water pump. It is coming to the hydro test manifold. From hydro test manifold, the control flow entered into the piping or pipeline system. When hydro test completed, there are some post hydro test requirement. The pipeline shall be fully depressurized. The pipeline shall be dewatered using cup displacement scraper driven by dry air. Hydrostatic water might be used for testing another section and shall be disposed of following project hydro test water disposal plan complying with client standard. Section end shall be closed by covers to prevent entry of any foreign material. Pipeline reinstatement. All temporary blinds, plugs, gasket used for the test shall be replaced with permanent allocated material which are reflected in the construction drawing. Let us discuss some safety requirements. Necessary work permit to be obtained, proper signboard to be put, hydro test on progress, only authorized testing personnel will be allowed inside the test area, movement of main and machine can be avoided as, as much as possible. Proper risk assessment and precautionary measures to be taken. Job safety analysis or JSA is one of the document which is being approved by all the parties uh, before any risk related activities. Personal responsibilities. Closing the line ends with blind flanges. Filling the line with water and venting it. Pressurizing the line gradually. Monitoring the pressure and completing the record. These are the responsibilities for all the persons or especially the key personnel to follow. That's all for hydro test procedure for RTR high pressure pipelines. If any repair comes, you can refer my next video. Thank you guys. For all the new listeners, my request is to subscribe my video and watch till the end to inspire me more. Thanks a lot. Signing off, Showman.